YouTube was good. Be short to Devin, y'all. Whoo! Episode 11. Documentary 2018. It's Wednesday. You know how this goes. And this could be a big episode because this could be our last episode in League Do. Before we get there, you guys have been all up in the comments talking about our left and right back situation. Carmona was suggested for left back. I've already uh, sent the scouts out on him. 12 days, we'll see more about him. Joe Gomez has been re recommended so many times for left back. Um, you know, technically he's a DC. He can play on the left or the right. He's probably going to get bought once the June transfer window starts. We also got um, these three guys, Almeida, Ferreira, and Silva, who I'm going to scout and see, are they good enough to be, uh, you know, who should we get? So once I get all those guys scouted, we can look at the, st the statistics on them. I have something for you guys. Um, so y'all, whoo, we have actually made it to the end of the league due season at the end of this episode, four games, we'll be at the end of the season. Let's look at the standings. We're in fifth, 64 points, six points off second place, which is promotion. And we are down on goal difference, so we need to get it on points, right? We're 10 behind uh, first place, so odds are we definitely don't have a chance for that. But we could get that second place. To be honest, I really kind of want to stay here for another year and just dominate League 2, build up the players, let them get more experience, maybe trim some fat in the offseason, bring up some youth players, and start building towards the good youth squad. Because um, we can just have a season next year, we just get wins and build up the manager rating. I just I can feel it. I can feel the W's on the way. But here's the fun part of this episode. We are playing three of the top seven teams in our last four matches. Let's pull up the schedule. We play Auxerre today. And then in four days, we play Lunds. Then um, a week later, we play Stade de Reims. And then we end off with Orleans Laurier. And saying all that, let's get into the game. And see, and get to bring back my man Monte. I'm going to go ahead and drop Silliard down to the bench. Mancini is so close to being healthy. And I think I'm going to go ahead and bring in Mancini instead of Ravalosin, just to make sure that we've got the squad. Taram is still out for, I believe, another match. I can't bring it up right now, but I believe it's one match, might be two. Uh, might be three, it might have been the last game of last episode, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this first matchup. Tours versus Auxerre. Whoo, start us up. So we are on a winning streak, guys. Not a winning streak, we are on a unbeaten streak. We haven't been beaten in, what is this, 12 episodes? I mean, 12 games now? And, and you know, how wild would it be to finish the season without a loss? We haven't lost since January. We got the ball out wide. Clements, who I completely forgot is even still out here. Cassiera! Woo! Just like that, 1-0 over Auxerre. This team is right behind us. There are two points behind us in the standings right now. They want to beat us so they can overtake us. We have to beat them to put a little bit of space between us and the teams behind us. But we really want to push up for second. Oh, uh, we got the ball in their side. Not be, don't be a red card. We've had so many red cards in these last few matches. That's the last thing we need is somebody gets sent out. Okay, I'll take a yellow. We can swap him off. We brought in Mancini for exactly that reason. Uh-oh. On the side. Lapini. Cassiera. Oh, so close. Cassiera is this close, man, to just making it a very good game in our favor. Oh, Cassiera. Oh, doing work on the side. Cassiera is like a one-man team. Buaza right into the keeper's mitts once again. Oh, Dupe with a free kick. It looks like it's probably going to go into halftime. And it is. Halftime. Up 1-0, which is extremely important. Can we uh, finish it off? Clemens is not having a good time out there. BK is on 9. I need to take him off. I'm not risking him on a card. I'm going to bring in Man Like Mancini. And Clemens will probably be swapped out for... Um, I could probably move Buaza up into his spot and put Tandia in. So that's what I'm going to do uh, when the second, a little bit later in the second half. 
You know, I haven't been showing substitution just because it really is just watching them get subbed off. I can just tell you guys at the end of the game. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Why are we passing? <sighs> Dupe gives up a goal. I was going to make the sub anyway. You're not going to see the actual sub animation, but I do want it to be known I'm making the substitution. And we're bringing in Tandia. <sighs> we're down. It's 1 1. I'm not a fan of this. We need to get this win. Oh no, late 90th minute, Buwaza, do something major. Tandia, uh, full time, one point. We needed three. We still have not lost, which is the positive. We don't have our full strike force because Taram is gone, burgundy has gone. But at the same time, I mean, BK was out there on the nine. I probably should have left him out there. To be fair, Mancini and Tandia went out there and put on eights. Um, Clemens did get the assist, but he still put on a three performance. We need to round back in the worst way. The worst way. Uh, see y'all for the next game. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. He's back. My man, Taram. Let's get back to those winning ways. That's the only change we're going to make. Clemens has been dropped to the reserves. And we're going to keep that team, basically. Well, do I, well I'm going to keep Echeverria still here. Um, just in case I kind of like him on the bench just as maybe just to throw him in I might start swapping him and rebel Lawson out um, As like the extra man in uh Oh, so throw in for somebody What is please don't be a foul? Oh, oh half time. Yeah, this is a super like literally that was the only time the game has stopped It's literally just been All game it's wild Um, Taram is out there only four. I don't really have anybody to bring in for him though so let's just start the second half and hope that the team can make it work. The midfielders can hopefully make something happen. Uh oh. Cassiera, the boy. Buaza, do it, do it. Taram back again like he never left. Taram scoring us a goal. 73rd minute. That's the stuff I like to see. That's the stuff I like to see. That's the kind of stuff that sent, that'll get us promoted. Oh, man. Come on. Oh no, it's in there half. Vieira. Ronaldo Vieira doing work. Oh no 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 no. Dupe. Sheesh. And it's one one. All but like ending our hopes of promotion. <sighs> Throw in four lens or lawns or this. We're going to league two. Uh, we're going to be in league due again next season that is a certainty now at this point i'm almost sure i haven't seen the standings i didn't look at the standings again uh looking at the performances everybody played well Teron got a goal he had the lowest rating on a six for some reason i didn't make any subs i think just because i got so caught up in watching everything just zoom by and we have 66 points second place has 75 we are nine points behind with six points left to get so we are officially stuck like chuck in league two league do again next season but i think it's going to work out well for us um i'm sure everything's going to be fine because we've got such a good squad all around so uh see you guys for the game against stad day rings all right so uh third game of the episode team basically this um same squad i have brought in ravelosin on the bench instead of Echeveria. Um, let me double check because I moved my guys, the injured players, to um, the reserve. And yeah, Heinberg and Uluvion. This is just this is just murder right here. And I ended up transfer listing DR because he just ended up pissing me off. Because um, he kept getting into trouble. So yeah, Hein isn't even ours. He's actually uh, gone in June back to Mets. Bergenu is out until the middle of June. And Luvian is out until, until early June. Just double checking. Start the game. And that hurts, man, having that dude out for so long. All right, Cassiero on the wing, right where we like him. Gets to Vieira. Gets to Buaza. Uh oh, it's uh, off of him. BK. Ah, oh, it's off the keeper. So close. It's rare that you see a highlight uh, like that, like a highlight stoppage. It's for a keeper parrying the ball. Uh oh, 43rd minute. It's on the other side. It's going to be a foul. It's not Monte. Monte. Blast him off his arm. That should just be a yellow, though. That shouldn't be a straight red or anything like that. Please. Okay, just a yellow. We have uh, Filippi on the bench. Uh oh, Chavario with a free kick. Dupe, don't get don't get beat on this. Oh, Davout. 
Dupe getting us uh, absolutely done here early on. So we're going into halftime. It looks like down 1 0. First, this is almost the first time we've been down in a minute, actually. Usually we're ahead, and then the other team comes back tied up. Who needs to be replaced? Oh my goodness, Taram and Cassie are having a nightmare up front. I'm going to leave Faith and my boys, bring out Monte very soon into the second half, and hope we can make something work from there. Uh oh, and Doy. The Gratit, why are we in their half? Not a fan of. <sighs> All right, well that was not fun. Um, I like Cassier because he's more of a of a playmaker. So I'm going to bring on the man, the myth, the legend, Tan Dia. Or do I want to bring on Man Mancini? Hadn't played in a minute. I'm gonna bring on Mancini just because he hadn't gotten a lot of play. But we're down two nil. This is a new feeling. This is a rare feeling as well. Not a fan of it, I'm going to be honest. Not a fan. Hopefully. You know, we can pull back. We can pull off a big comeback. This episode has not gone the way I'd like it have to have gone. Mancini gets the ball back. Dupe, he's back though. Good stuff from Dupe. I'm actually going to take off Monte while I'm on it. Because there's no point in losing him to something dumb. We'll bring in Miguel. Oh no, BK pulls a shirt of DeVoe to stop him from getting the ball. Pulling a shirt should just be yellow, right? Right? You you shitting me. Okay, um, we're gonna drop Mancini back. And we're gonna drop Buaza back. And we're gonna let Cassier run solo up top. This has been a nightmare to end the season, like a nightmarish way to end the season. I guess once it became clear we weren't going to get promoted, it doesn't too much matter. Um, so I do want to point out, I'm not going to um, like slow watch because I don't know what happens at the end of the season, right? Uh, so I'm not going to like slow watch as we watch the end. Brian Cohn gets intercepted full time. I'm not going to like, I'm going to just like fast forward through the you know time i'm gonna stop at the june you know like the start of june or maybe the start of july i mean goodness two cards it is two of our best performers too monte had the yellow bk had the red that's not fair i don't think it's fair so it's just pulling a shirt he wasn't even last man back so bk is on for the next three matches it's probably gonna be probably two matches at the start of next season which is just it's just it's just lovely in it just lovely all right, y'all. So last match, and this is basically fighting to secure fifth. Uh, win and we stay in fifth. Lose and Ajacio may jump us, and even Stade Rams because they've got us on goal difference. Um, we could drop to seventh with this match if we don't take it seriously and get the W. And yeah, that happens. So Mancini gets to be in the lineup, and we're going to put. Clements on the bench and we have McKedjuf and Reva Lawson to come in if things go weird and I'm going to go ahead and put Echeveria on the bench as well and go team like that and uh, play our last match wild as it sounds last match of this season this is actually going by the season is going by pretty decently fast for your boy not gonna lie all right Buaz on the free kick Plays it back to Monte. I have no clue why. But they're working it though. Cassiera, Buwaza, Cassiera. Buwaza, oh, the passing to round. Ah, I was wondering why it started early. I kind of, in the back of my mind, thought it was going to be a penalty. And it is indeed a penalty. And it's going to be Teron who takes it. He does usually take these penalties. Slots it away. 1 0. That's the stuff I'm talking about, Teron. This is not a team in the top part of the table. So we should indeed run away with this. Oh no, Brian Cohn, what have you done? Do pay! Oh man. That's gonna be an interesting thing. Do I replace Do pay next season? I feel like I'm going to keep Do pay. I feel like goalkeeping, if we're gonna be stuck here, I'm not gonna replace Do pay. Let's say you wanna throw in. Uh oh, Tehran whipping into Cassiera! 2 0. But yeah, Do pay, I think, is gonna be the guy I'm probably gonna for sure keep. I'm gonna for sure keep the high performing midfielders like BK and Cassiera. Um, I'm not Cassiero, BK and Vieira. 
the Luvion. Um, this team at high capacity is going to be ridiculous. You know, so we're going into halftime. Yes, it is. I almost forgot Ndoy has been our defensive mid for the last few games. Uh, but the team's performing extremely high. Uh, I'm going to leave Monte in for a little bit and then I'll probably bring Move Gratit in and put Echevarria out on the side just to get some minutes in for the young players. Uh oh, Buwaza to Vieira. Back to Buwaza to Endoy of all people to Taram. Three. He makes it three. This is the kind of gameplay and performances I was talking about. This is stuff I was expecting to see. For the last three games, if we perform like this, we might be going up this season. We probably wouldn't just because of uh, everyone else's results. But you never know. Hurt, doesn't, help, doesn't hurt the dream. I'm probably going to take Vieira out um, for Ravalosan to get him some minutes. And to give Vieira a little send off here. Because he has performed extremely well for us throughout the end of this season. Uh oh, it's a run. It's in their side. I don't like this. It usually ends either in a goal. Do hey, stuff I'm talking about. I'm going to take him. Do what I said. Bring Ravalosan in. And I'll go ahead and bring Clements in as well just to get some minutes in for the young players. This is the kind of stuff I like. Go ahead and bring in Ravalosan. Bring in Clements. And finish out the last few minutes of the game. Last few minutes of our league due season. Ravalosan with the free kick. Found Clements, who played it out really fucking far. Um, but at the end of the event, we got 3 0. 3 0 win. Can't argue with that against or uh, Orion's Laureate. 50 manager. I missed that. It's been so long since I got the 50 <laughs> manager points. Teron with two goals, one from the penalty spot. Cassiero with one as well. And that is the end. Uh, oh, we got prize money. This one got about two grand. I mean, two mil. Yeah, it starts in August. We'll be forward to friction list and friendly. That your assistant major has ranged in due course. We have won League 2. Hooray! Um, I'm not sure anything like special here happens in the offseason. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like speed sub through. Keep you guys along for the ride. Just speed sub through to the end just to see what happens. All right, so interesting news. I was expecting to simulate a lot farther, but apparently the France transfer window opens on May 31st, which is super duper wild. I thought it was going to be like way later in the summer. I'm not sure if I want to shoot my shot early with some of these transfers or not, because I do want you guys to be involved. I know a lot of people are saying Joe Gomez. I've been unearthing a few good players as well, though. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm trying to decide. Do I want to stop this on the 23rd or not um there's christopher age there which i'm not even sure i need anymore um but yeah looking at guys like like fiera for example like, look at this dude 70 74 marking that's the stand the work rate that's the kind of stuff i need out on the right wing not not the fastest but the good defender so i'm like a zabaleta type um there's, um Amieda who again work rate positioning tackling just be a dope right back um then there's silva who's just kind of solid all around probably won't sign him though um so yeah just interesting stuff carmona as suggested by the comments all right so just for anyone who may be wondering who might care this is what the Champions League and Europa League finals look like. Champions League is Chelsea v Real, and the Europa League is Arsenal v Fenerbahce. Um, just for those, because I know some people genuinely care. Chelsea's going to Chelsea beats Real, Arsenal beats Fenerbahce. England are the champions of Europe somehow, <laughs> which is absolutely wild. And our window is open. It's 31st of May. Team of the month. Um, I mean, it's gonna be league. Um, do they have a league? Do team of the season though? Is one I'm wondering. Nope. That's just rude. Why they tease us like that? And yeah, this happened. Mancini. And they, we have guys on loan. So, uh, Hein is also gone, and Mancini is gone. So, because of that, I need you guys to throw me some more midfielders. 
Um, that's what I. That's kind of what I need right now in terms of players to buy. I need midfielders and midfielders. Really, I just need midfielders. So drop me your midfielders in the comments. Um, right now, I'm looking at um, Carmona, who's more of a defensive midfielder, but he's still a midfielder. Carla Zaina or Alinea is looking like a very good uh, bet that I'm going to grab. Um, I kind of like Almeida, I'm not going to lie. Almeida looks like he could be a dope uh, defensive back. He played 46 games for Benfica at a 7.7 .7 match rating. Um, I'm also looking at, I don't know, Silva's just not all that great. Probably going to grab Joe Gomez, put in an offer for Joe Gomez. And also, um, I don't know if I'm going to bring Marcin Johnny in just because he's not like, Dupe's better. You know what I mean? Dupe's going to be a better player for the time being. I don't know if I'm going to uh, vest up front. I might grab a player like Clivert, who's a little bit more um, flexible. May or may not. I'm not sure yet. Um, I haven't actually searched him. I meant to. Let me actually. I have my scouts are free. Because he is apparently. I mean, 71 finishing, 88 pace. Those two alone make him look very, very enticing as a prospect to bring in to beef up the starting uh, rotation. But anyway, guys forwards um now i'm really needing forwards midfielders and that's it really i just need center midfielders like m mcs i need i need uh players that can go here because bergen is going to come back so he can slip in the mid attacking mid uh luvion's gonna come back so he can be defensive mid we're going to sort out right and left of those players i showed you who do you think i should get to be the new fullbacks. I think we've got ourselves a team that we can build and compete with. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this through the end of the league. We got $14 million. We made some cash, and we are about to splash the shit out of it, this transfer window, and hopefully win League Dude. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will be back on Friday as per usual. I say usual. This is my first week of the upload schedule. Let me know who we should buy in the comments. Thank you for watching. Like the video. Share the video. Why not? Don't be, don't be greedy and selfish. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.